Okay, so I love my fur babies more than anything in the world, and I let them sleep with me every night. But sometimes, it's really hard to sleep, and you can't get comfortable when they're waking you up all the time. I'm also the type of person that will not move if my dogs are comfortable because I don't want to disturb their sleep. So that usually means I'm uncomfortable most of the night. And sometimes I think, you know, wouldn't it be nice if they had their own cute little bed to go lay in? You see this ugly nightstand? In fact, I don't know if it's a nightstand or an end table. The drawer fronts are missing. So I'm gonna take this ugly nightstand and turn it into an adorable pet bed. How would you guys like your very own cute doggy bed that you can sleep in? How about that, mm-hmm? So maybe we'll all get a good night's sleep. Does that sound good? Good night's sleep? Let's get some sleep, okay? Oh. First, you'll need to flip the table upside down. I'm gonna carefully remove the decorative corbels because I'll be reusing them. Then I'll remove the old framing where the drawers used to be. Except for one piece, I'm gonna keep that one. I'm actually going to add a spare piece of wood to the front to make it look like the old drawer front. Then secure it with a bratted nail gun. I'm also adding thin pieces of wood to hide the holes where I remove the old drawer fronts. Now I'm adding back the decorative corbels that I removed earlier. I'm going to drill holes in the bottom of each leg of the nightstand. Now I bought these decorative deck finials very inexpensively. And now I'm going to screw them in the bottom of the legs. This will give it the look of a four poster bed. It's time to sand the entire nightstand. And don't forget about the inside too. You don't want your puppy getting a splinter. I'm going to be using an ebony stain for a dark, rich look. You might need one coat, maybe two, depending on your personal preference. And don't forget to seal it after you're done staining. When I stained this table, I propped it up on old paint cans so that the stain won't puddle at the bottom and it will give it an even finished look on the bottom edge. Now all you have to do is let it dry, get your favorite pet pillow with a decorative pillowcase, and voila! The nightstand four poster pet bed. And there you have it. We turned an old nightstand into a four poster pet bed. Now, these plans may vary depending on the nightstand or end table that you use. Just use your creativity. And the important thing is to have fun. So be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Okay, here comes the real test. Are you ready to get your pet bed? I'll take that as a yes. I think she likes it. Would you look at her? She is loving this. <laughs> <laughs> she is so comfy. That is adorable. <laughs> Speaking of, till next time, I'm Jeremy Rabe, keeping it adorable and affordable.